Okay guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another one of Stan Boney's video reviews. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a uh, benchmark tool that has been out for a while, but a new release on January 7th I have found made it kind of interesting. Okay, well we overclocked the CPU to 4.22 gigahertz and we're going to take the uh, we're going to take the uh, three GPUs and we're going to run them up to about 676 on a core clock at 1670 with the shaders linked. I'm going to bump the memory up to 1120 we're going to apply that okay now we've all heard about this benchmark but we haven't really seen much about it it's called Furmark what's cool about this benchmark I found was they've got what's called a contest mode so all you do is click on contest mode and the settings for the whole benchmark are defaulted to 1280 by 1040. You can't set any other resolution because the contest takes place at that resolution. Alright, so what you do is you just set it on contest mode and you hit go. wait about five seconds and it starts okay so we're running at a about 120 frame per second average maximum 148 174 179 132 frame average it's a 60 second test now I don't really understand this test yet so I'm trying to figure it out because I'm seeing some weird scores but I will figure it out I've got about 20 seconds left here okay, about 10 seconds left hit about 180 on the maximum frames 138 average now what it does is it allows you it calculates your score it tells you if your score is valid I imagine that's if you're using drivers that are allowed and you're not doing anything now I scored only an 8204 on this test what you can do is you can fill out your email, your CPU Z validation ID number, and your GPU Z validation ID number, and you can submit it. All right. Well, let's look at some of the scores. We're running. We 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 scored 8204. So on the OpenGL 3D graphics benchmark for Furmark, here's some of the recent submissions of 513, here's a 9485, an 11,000, wow, on an ATI Radiant HD 4870. And here are the top scores of all time. This guy nicknamed Omen scored a 72,000 with an 8800 GTX we fall in around somewhere between 47th place and 48th place it goes all the way on up changes resolution so I guess you can lower the resolution but for your typical Twelve eighty by ten twenty four 
zero MSAA full screen test at 60 seconds, we fell in somewhere in the 40s out of 400 scores. Now I don't understand this benchmark yet because here's a G-Force GTX 280 only turning 4,000 and we come back up here and here's a G-Force GTX 280 running at 9,000 okay so looks like a pretty interesting benchmark let's figure it out and see if we can get that score up higher and if any of you guys out there can figure this out a little better than me let me know I'd like to, I'd like to know how this uh, benchmark works because there's a great difference between the top PC at 72,000 down to about 40th place where I'm at at in the eight thousands my highest score was an 8400 exact which would put me at about 44th place but if something's not right if someone can help me out with this benchmark someone who can look into it a little bit more I'm gonna look into it let me know all right we we officially scored 8204 at 4.228 megahertz on a core clock for the CPU with the 8800 Ultra now I know this is not just one card because I ran the test with a single card and I ran it with three cards and I got one third the score with one card so it's using all three cards which is nice but how does this benchmark really work? Well, if anybody has any uh, clues, stop by Stamboni on YouTube and let me know what you think, all right? And for now, you guys have a good night and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.